Well, not that long ago, it didn't look like tonight was going to happen in 2020, but here we are. The start of a shortened high school football season began tonight, and it's probably going to take some getting used to both the pandemic restrictions, but also realignment in the OK Conference, new schools in new places. And that was the case tonight in our game of the week where longtime OK Silver school, Godwin Heist hosted a newcomer, Sparta, the Spartans in the OK Silver this year, and the Wolverines were hoping that last year's three and six season was a fluke. They brought back some really good players led by Ruquan Buckley. Meanwhile, Sparta hoping to make a statement in its first game in the OK Silver. Spartans taking the field here at Godwin Heights and ready to go against the Wolverines. This was a defensive game in the start, in the middle, in the end. Lots and lots of defense, but the first big play and the biggest play of the game, sophomore Elijah True was going left somehow stays on his feet and goes all the way back to the other side of the field, 57 yards, all the way down to the nine yard line. But on the next play, Godwin Heights would get called for holding. They'd be against the chains and they ended up turning it over on downs. Fourth quarter, seven minutes to go. It's still 0-0 until junior Dylan Taroski, 25 yards into the end zone. The ice is broken. It's six, nothing Sparta, but Godwin comes right down the field. They're second and goal from the four inside of two minutes. But Justin Mentelowitz makes the big play, the sack. It's third and goal, incomplete pass. Here it is, fourth and goal with just over a minute to go into the end zone. Trevor Wilcox knocks it down. Sparta escapes six to nothing. They win their first ever game in the OK Silver. Lots of defense in this game. The big play for the Spartans was the Dylan Taroski touchdown run. And of course, Godwin Heights got the big run from sophomore Elijah True. Outside of that, it was pretty much all defense in this game. Brett Bakita called it on ESPN 961 Brett and what did it look like to you? Was it bad offense or good defense? No, I think it was good defense. I do think Godwin Heights, and we talked about this, kind of hurt themselves with not being able to convert on third and fourth downs of big plays. They, you mentioned it right there with the down and distance against them because they had a holding penalty or something would happen or they'd try a play and they would lose yardage, significant yardage, and never could get back where the down and distance favored them. That was kind of a constant thing where you give credit. up front. They have a senior offense and defensive line where a lot of those guys play both ways. Mentelowitz was one of those you saw in the highlight. Mark Chapman's got to be thrilled. I know it was an ugly way he thought to win, but you know what? I thought both these teams, when they look at it, moving forward in the OK Silver, they're going to be right there. Hopkins, I think, is the team to beat, but right there, Godwin Heights and Sparta, mark my words. All right, well, Dylan Taraski was one of those guys who started both ways last year as a sophomore. Talking to him after the game, the first question was, how important was that touchdown run to kind of get things going here in the fourth quarter? They just gave us that confidence that we needed to you know, get our energy back, keep going, stop them on that last drive like we did. Just gave us that energy. It was going to be a battle. I knew it was going to be a battle. I'm not surprised that it was a fight. <laughs> Don't. I'm not surprised it was a fight. I thought it was going to be a fight. I think it's going to be 0-0, but it was a really good game. It was, it was very different, but you know, it's no different from just any other football game. You know, we're out here on the field competing. There's Taraski talking about the fact that they're wearing masks. There weren't very many people in the crowd. I don't know how much you can tell of that from up in the press box, but it was certainly a different atmosphere tonight. Oh, absolutely. And you know what? I think it's tough for teams to get used to the fact that they really have to rely upon their teammates on the sidelines. I mean, that's where, you know, the vocalness comes in. Normally you get that, but even more so when you don't have a crowd to feed off of, you don't have a student section to feed off. Of. I mean, some of these schools, tremendous student sections. It's what we love about high school football, right? So they're going to have to from their coaches, somewhat from their parents, that basically what was left in the stands was the parents and family members, but they're going to have to really be tight. The teams that can do that and successfully go through this shortened season, boy, look out come playoff time. It's going to be a wild ride. And while it's different, I think most everyone's pretty happy just to get a chance to play. Uh, for Coach's Corner, we had a chance to talk to head coach Mark Chapman from Sparta, and I just started out asking him, I mean, he's, he's a defensive coach. He has been for a long time. Was this his kind of game? Because, I mean, it was 0-0 into the fourth quarter. I thought we had to win ugly. <laughs> I mean, I know I'm a defensive guy, but neither team has hit anybody else. You know, we've had eight days to get ready for this. It's a little bit what we expected, to be honest with you. We talked to our guys for a couple weeks about trying to win this game late in the fourth quarter, and we hung on. 
when it's 0 0 in the fourth quarter, how important is it to get the first score? Yeah, we, and we felt like we had some momentum, we had some drives going, but we just couldn't punch it in, so that was big. But then they come right back, and we got to win it down here on the goal line. So exciting first game. They had a couple chances where they were kind of in the red zone, and you guys made some stops. What did you guys show defensively? Well, I thought our defensive line played outstanding. Every time they got down here after a big play or a, a crucial drive for them, one of our defensive linemen, uh, Justin Metelowitz or Sam Whitmore, one of those guys made a huge play for us. And your freshman quarterback, I thought he, I thought he looked pretty good. He held his own. It's, yeah. it's, uh, the stars were bright tonight. When you go from playing on Wednesday nights in middle school to out here, uh, I thought he did a tremendous job of ho holding his poise and, and doing what we had to do to win the football game. With so many new guys to varsity, I mean, how proud are you of the way you guys were able to hang on win this. Yeah, I was just glad of our fight. I mean, we just fought all night, hung in there. It was ugly, but we found a way to win.